Good morning. We're here at the Austin Animal Center, and I'm here with Kimberly, and this is Sweet Bella. Kimberly, why don't you tell us a little bit about her? Little Miss Bella. Bella has been here for just a little while. She came in um, from a family that had found her as a stray, but unfortunately she lived outside the three months that she lived with them. Mm -hmm. So um, she had some ear issues that are all cleaned up now. Um, she gets along with dogs. She is so mellow and so easy on the leash. She um, loves to go on walks. She loves to explore. She <laughs> loves to sniff. She's good at sitting and she loves treats. Yes. She's really just kind of a She's super so easy going, yeah. mellow dog. The, the vets here at the shelter think she might be some sort of an Australian cattle dog mix. Okay. But you know, obviously that's not, you know. that's just a good guess. But yeah. um, she's some sort of mix as, as are all of our dogs. So, uh, but she's just super easy going and she's, like I said, she's good with other dogs. She's, she's uh, really looking for a, a home that where she can live inside. Yeah. So yeah, describe the home that you think she'd be best in. Well, her notes when she came in uh, indicated that she was good with dogs and cats and even children. Um, so seems to me that she would be kind of good in any home. She does have a little bit of shyness around new men. Okay. But um, I just met her for the, for the very first time this morning, and she was in my lap in a heartbeat. So yeah. she's, I think once she learns to trust people, um, I think that her confidence will come out. In fact, we can already see a difference in her at the shelter. She's really, she's really sparkling here. <laughs> she's so cute. And do we know how old she is or an estimate? Um, I, the vets estimate that she's about five years old. Okay. So she's uh, good and calm. She's just incredibly okay. easygoing, as, as you can see right here. <laughs> She's beautiful. Yeah. Well, and if people want to come check her out, how can they do so? So we're open seven days a week from 11 to 7, and today we are having a very special event called Adoptoberfest, and it's going to be from 11 to 2. We've got 26 local vendors setting up booths in the front lawn of the shelter, and uh, we're also going to have a very special Adopt from the Runway event where 18 dogs and one cat are going to walk the runway way or the catwalk I guess yeah. and um, so it's gonna be a lot of fun you can come in and you can meet Bella or hundreds of other dogs and cats and maybe even buy something uh, get your get your holiday shopping uh, started kicked a little off, early yeah. kicked off a little very early. nice well okay so that's happening today you guys come check out Bella come check out all the animals and is there anything else going on at the shelter that we should know about yes our intake is still restricted so we're asking everybody in the community if you do find a stray dog or cat to please hold on to it and uh, do your best to find the owner because we really are still in a very serious space crisis so whatever you can do to find the owner or hold on to the dog or cat for just a little while um, while we um, ease up on our space crisis would be a gigantic help for all of the dogs and cats here at the shelter. And that being said, people can come and foster and adopt, of course. Absolutely. That is always available. And one thing I forgot to mention about tomorrow is adoption fees are waived for the day. Okay, so adoption fees are waived for the pets on the runway. Come check them out. It'll be a great day and a nice way to kick off spooky season again. But thank you so much for letting us Absolutely. hang out with Bella. Absolutely. She's so cute. You guys come adopt her here at the Austin Animal Center. On cue. <laughs>